Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two of Sim Airport. We are here on day two where we left off last episode. And uh, again, we need an air traffic control tower. I'm going to go ahead and build that. Oh, no, I'm not because it's hidden behind that grant, doggone it. So to get that, we've got to run the airport for two days. Let me try to claim it. All right. Uh, there you go. So we just got that. So that's good. So it's available now. Now, where do I want to put that? I think I'm going to put it down here, just kind of out of the way. I've got it on slow speed right now, just while we're talking about what we're going to do. We've got research going on in operations. And now, tier three here. Can I make this bigger? I believe I can. There we go. Uh, that looks like everything. So we've done that, and the check mark tells us we have. Uh, let's see. The airport needs to make happy tourists. So hire two janitors. We've done that. Boom, we just picked up a little bit of money. Oh, well, no, we haven't. We haven't gotten it all. Uh, now, if you, here's, what, here's what these do. So there's three tiers in this one. The final reward, once we do them all, high-end store items, jewelry, things like that, have double the purchase chance. So more money-making possibility. All right, so we need the environment to at least 60%. Now, we don't have any passengers yet, but you'll notice, let's take a look at that environment overlay. The gate's not horrible. The gate is not horrible. But let's pop in here and let's look at decor. All right, so this is $14,000. How about we put that right there? And we'll put another one. How about in the corner? Not that they need to be happy going through security, but still. And we could put one right in the middle of this hallway. They would walk right around it. And how about right in front of the entrance right there? We'll see how that looks. I don't care if they're happy when they leave, right? <laughs> We've already got their money at that point. All right, we'll speed it up to high speed. They're down here working on the air traffic control tower. Once they're done, then we can book a few more flights. But we're going to let this run and see how things go. Now, the first flight is scheduled to come in at 6 a.m., so it's getting here. It'll probably arrive a little early if there's room, if, you, if your runway's not in use, if your gate's not in use. Now, right now, every plane from every airline is going to use the same gate, same runway. Later, we'll be, oh, we've got people coming in. Oh, my goodness. Let's slow it down. All right. So we've got, all right, he just checked in. We've got him lining up at the scanners. Let's take a look at him. So he's bored, a little bit of boredom, but everything else looks good. Thirst, environment. So he ought to come in here. His environment ought to get better. And he's going to go spend some money at the drink machine there. And he'll drink and then he'll fill up. I do have garbage cans up here, don't I? I think I need to put another one. Uh, I'm going to put a garbage can right there. I don't want them getting rid of that. Now, just to look, that machine's made us 20 bucks already. That one's made us 10 bucks. That one's made us 20. That one's made us 10. Electronics has made us 16. So, yeah, we're making a little bit of scratch there. All right, we'll speed it up. I'm just kind of wanting to see how the queue works. So we've got the people coming in using the self-check ticketing. They're coming in. No backups. And that's one of the reasons I've got my flight staggered where they're not right on top of each other. And when we do a second uh, gate, instead of having it start at the same time, we'll have it start like right here. So it's a little, just a little, you know, off to where not every passenger's hitting the runway, you know, the, the terminal at the same time, right? I tell you what, these electronic machines are very popular. 
I, I didn't realize it until I was watching somebody's video. Uh, let's see. These people are just hanging around. We're still a little ways, so I'm going to speed it up. plane should be coming in in the next 30 minutes, I would guess. So it's almost 530. I know we got it in. There it is. All right, so there's our first plane. It's a Boeing 737 from AeroTime, flight 5468. And it arrived 19 minutes early, and we have 108 minutes to get it out. So let's get down here. And you can see everybody starting to queue up. Now, if we mouse over, they've already deplaned and cleaned. So all the passengers came off. That's these guys. They're, they're heading out. And then we've got loading up. The flight crew's already on. The first five passengers of 79. So we'll let that go. Let's kind of watch these guys leaving. I want to see how they get out. All right, so a lot of them are going just straight out. Some are going to baggage claim. And they'll get picked up automatically. Now, we do have baggage claim. All right, everybody's boarded. They've unloaded 22 bags. Here's the guy, and we can now look down here, and there's baggage down here. So that's good. And he should be coming back to drop off the bags here. And there we go. And now it's boarded. And they took off at they took off at 654. They're 36 minutes early. <clears throat> so you can track planes like that. Now we can also come in here. Scheduled to arrive at 6, got here at 541, scheduled to depart at 7:30. And as long as we hit all of our flights in a day then we get a bonus it adds up you know every little bit so there's the people coming off filtering through people coming on all 77 are now on board baggage has been taken away and we should see the baggage cart Oh, there he is. You see, so after he drops it off, they have another guy that comes up, comes to the check-in area, picks up the baggage here, and he'll drive it in. So we've got 65 minutes for him to drive through the airport, get it out there, and get them out in time. And you can already see we've got the next batch of people coming in. Now, you can see our janitors hanging around out here. And yes, each one of these dumpsters holds 10 bags, where each square only holds one or 48 for the total. I can fit 30 in those three, so we have 78 capacity. All right, they may not, they may not use these, so we may get rid of these. The ATM hasn't made us any money either. If you're new to the channel, I have a grandbaby living in the house, and she's very important to me. So, uh... You know, you guys get real life on my videos. That's just how it goes. All right, so we're up to 389. Now let's slow it down, research. So we can hire a CFO, we can hire a COO, and we have to get one of those before we can do anything else in that tree. So let's go ahead and research and queue up the main you know, the entry levels into each one of the next ones because they get more expensive. Oh, now here's the thing. So where you can see where, ooh, frustration. Why are we frustrated? Um, let's take a look. Frustration. I don't know why he's frustrated. Oh, you know why? I know why. All right, so we're going to have to do something about that. We are going to, I'm going to dismantle these. And then I'm going to, we'll let it run because we're going to need a little bit of time to do this. We're going to go ahead and extend that out. Then I want to put a wall here and there. And then we're going to put a door 
here and here. All right, here come the guys. We'll let them come take care of that as we speed it back up. So basically, their their bladders. We don't have a bathroom on this side of security, so that's an issue. So I need them to finish this real quick, if you don't mind. Can we do that first. Thank you. We'll slow it down, and then I will dismantle those walls, and then we'll add in another wall and then we will put in a toilet stall um all right two toilets two toilets we got a wall. All right, let's slow it down again. We're going to put in a urinal. We're going to put, well, I've got to click on it. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to get a sink. All right, we'll put in two sinks there and one sink in there. Actually, you know what? Let's cancel that project. We'll put an extra sink in there. So one urinal, two stalls. All right, they're waiting on some supplies to come in to build that. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna come in and zone these. So this will be a female restroom and a male restroom. And there you go. Now people can come in and use that. That should help quite a bit. And I want to say the higher the number, the better. The lower, the worse. That's my thinking. I could be wrong on that. All right. How are our flights looking? Flight status. All right. Let's pause it for a second and do a dive here. So... Scheduled to depart at 7.30, left at 6.54, 9.10. That was early, 50 minutes early, almost an hour early, 40, 38 minutes early. All right, so that one took a little bit longer. So this is where you can look and kind of gauge, you know, can I condense any of these? Do I need it better? Uh, you know, what have you. All right, I believe... I believe we are going to do a, all right, I wonder if I can, let me, let's do some planning. All right, so three by three, three by three, three by three, want a two wide hallway, three by three, three by three, and three by three. So then what we're going to do is we are going to build a foundation around that there. All right. So that'll get them started. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the offices. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're only 15 minutes in, so we're good. All right, they're going to start working on that. Um, I just realized, I think I screwed up a little bit here. We'll add that there. All right. Passengers heading out. A lot of passengers in the drop-off zone. What we can also do is we do have a sidewalk. So let's build a sidewalk from the baggage claim door to pick up and from drop offs into. Then what we can do is pull some decor. That's indoors only. All righty. That's outdoors. 
So how about we put three of these plants on each side and we'll do the same thing down here. That'll work well. And with this, I can always extend this out and back to expand baggage claim if I want to. All right, let's pause it. Well, let's just slow it down. All right, so we want walls. So one, two, three, and a wall. Uh, let's see, they've got to finish that one. So let me set up this wall because it's going to be one, two, three. Uh, did I count wrong? I did. Wow, okay. So I'm going to need more foundation. So I want a two wide hallway, a wall, two, three. So that needs to be two wide. There we go. All right. Oh, well, that happens. Things are easy to fix. Let's take a look at our overview here. Environment looks really good. So let's pause and check here. All right, so we got that. That's awesome. There's the 60%. I don't want to build my kitchen and cafe yet, so let's look for something else. Uh, this is already unlocked. All right, we just, uh, oh, 12 flights and a rep to three airlines. Okay, so we'll do that. We're working on that right now anyway. And so one, two, three, and a wall. No, I don't think that's right. If you ever want to cancel something once you've laid it out, as long as they haven't started work, you click on it and hit cancel project. Now see, they've already started on this one, so it's too late. All right, so I'm gonna slow them down. So one, two, three, and a wall. One, two, three, and a wall. And we're gonna put a door. Right there, we are going to dismantle. Actually, I think we're going to put in a we're going to put in a staff door. Only staff can go through there. And I want to dismantle that. I think. I think I do, but let me wait. No, I don't. Actually, I don't. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to build one, two, I want to build a wall there. All right. I want to prioritize the well they sh they usually do things that you know first in first out so they're dropping off supplies so they're multitasking on the way back they're dropping supplies and then coming out all right so this is now secure because there's a wall there so i want to dismantle one two three so yeah let's dismantle that and that and what? And I tell you what, I do want to go down one more spot. And let's make this one an urgent priority. I want that one done first. All right, I'm going to slow it down. We're going to zone these for offices. And we want to look up office. So I need an office desk right there and an office chair right there all right there's that done so now we can dismantle and i need my wall all right let's get our door right there and go back in and look for our office stuff so our office desk let's see all right there's the screen so i want that to the right so there there and there, 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 and there. And then we'll zone this for offices as well. Now we're getting errors. If you mouse over, it tells you why, because it's not enclosed yet. Once they do the doors, that'll disappear. And what's the 
What's the deal here? Oh, I know what it is. Right there. Okay, it just wasn't big enough. It had to be at least three by three. All right, so we've done some research. We've unlocked finance so we can hire a CFO. We've unlocked operations. We can hire a COO. We can hire a CTO. And we're working on hiring a foreman. So we go into manage admin. We're going to hire a CFO, a COO, a CTO. That's three. Then I'm going to hire three sales managers or sales reps. Boom. They're all in. There's all of our people. So now let's check that government grant again. Assign one rep to each of three airlines. All right, so we're going to let's finish booking out our flights. We had some more room, didn't we? We do have some more room, and it said we need at least 12 flights. Now we just built a tower. So one, two, three, four, seven, that's eight, nine, ten. All right. So let's do CR 900. That's a 90. We'll take that one because we can squeeze that one, right? All right, now this one ends at 950. So we can put that at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And it's a smaller plane, so we'll give them an hour and 10. And then can we do one more? A DBQ, that's 90 as well. Let's do that one. Last flights of the night. I think that's stacked right on it. So let's see. That ends at 11.10, 11.20. And it goes till 1.20, but we're going to come back and catch that if we can. It won't let me here. Ugh. There it is, yeah. 10.50. Oh, uh, what the heck did I just do? It won't let me catch that end. Oh, right, we'll, we'll just leave it. It'll cut into in the morning. Actually, there it is right there. Yeah, let's, so 11.20, 12.20. All right, so that's fine. We're not using those early morning hours anyway, so this is actually a good way to take advantage of some of that space. All right, now, we had to do 12 flights, so we've got that. And we need one rep to three airlines. So let's go into our airlines. And right here, it tells you how many flights you have scheduled. So aero time, we've got five. So we certainly want to assign a rep there. All right, so he's with aero time. The next one we've got, I see one with three. And then a couple with one. And then one with two. All right, so Pacific, we're going to assign you a rep. And we just want a plain sales rep for these guys. And then the one with two, WestJet, will give you a rep. And what this will do, this will help the communication range go up uh, to help them be happier. And it will start developing more trust. Uh, if you cancel a flight, poor communication, this hurts the trust. So communication goes up with the rep. That will in turn raise the trust. As these all five get positive, then we will get more flights and can maybe negotiate for more money. So, uh, so that is now done. Uh, let's see. The next one is build two large aircraft gates, load 10 planes, with an outdoor baggage system. I'm not ready for that. Uh, so that's done. So I just picked up $10,000. Zone an electrical zone with an amplifier and place eight PA speakers. I don't know what those do. What does an electrical zone do? Electrical. Airport wires. Minimum size, four by four. Okay. 
That's interesting. Don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Passenger experience. Kitchen and cafe. Uh, all right, so we get $2,500 for unlocking that. Oh, a new loan to finance construction. Well, we have to take the loan. You know what? So let's let's take a loan for $25,000. It'll be 0.95%. We'll accept it. And then we will repay it. And it's done. I don't like because that interest comes out every day, but it doesn't lower the balance. So that cuts directly into your profit. All right. This one, pay off any loans, wait for three days. Okay. So I have to wait for three days. That's fine. All right. And time wise. All right, well, we're at 30 minutes here. Let's take a look at one more plane, and then we will call this an episode. All right, so everybody's on. What I want to do now is I want to start saving up some money and then build a fuel depot where we can refuel planes because that's another way to make money. Uh, I think we also, let me slow it down. We can build another gate. Another small gate right there, right? And then foundation needs to come only out to, to there, but we're going to go all the way up. And we're going to extend that out. So that's where we'll pick up next episode. We'll have our new gate built. We already have taxiway built there. And what we can also do is extend it and build another terminal down this way if we wanted to. Maybe even come out and go this way and have the gates on the north side of it. Uh, that's a possibility. We'll see as we start to expand. Uh, I, then I want to, you know, there's a lot I guess I want to do. But honestly, this is farther than I've ever gotten in the game. So, hey, if you guys have some tips... Let me know in the comments. Taking a look, we're sitting on 110,000. Uh, we got we are getting 8,000 a day for runway usage, 14,000 for terminal usage. Maximum staff expenses are $50,000 and property tax. So we're losing 33,000 a day according to that. But we're making money. So I don't know what's the deal. Uh, we are getting plenty of passengers, two unsatisfied or frustrated, one's hungry, 16 are looking for information. All right, so I need to go in and look at objects. I wonder if I search information. Is there a uh, secure areas? Not sure. Not sure. I wonder if I could put that electrical room in here. Maybe close it off down here or even all the way back and make that an electrical room with a door right there. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, you know what? Uh, if we're going to add, while I'm thinking about it, we're adding a second gate, which is, and, which is going to open up to 14, 13, 12 or 14 more planes. So let's go ahead and put in two more of those we will put in a couple more ticketing kiosks and i tell you what too bad i can't put that oh i wonder if i could put that over here doesn't look like it no i could put it right there all right we'll put one right there that'll be a big one and i wonder if we put one there and one right there coming down the hall. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit with our info. And let's put a smaller one right there. And maybe right there. That'll help. All right, we're kind of tapped out on cash. We're going to have to let that build up. They've got some building to do. But uh, let's call that an episode. Oh, and here's one of those things, wind conditions. 18 kilometers, uh, the runways are inactive. So that's gonna start making us fall behind. 
How much is this? 20,000. I'm going to go ahead and build it right there. And what that's going to do is raise it to 20 miles an hour so the runway can stay open basically unless you're in gale force winds, right? So, in fact, might might want to make that a hot, urgent priority. All right, guys. Well, we will catch up next episode. Have a good one. Look forward to seeing some comments uh, below. And uh, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing and want to see more, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.